What is your best BAM for the buck? We're gonna find out as we test two and a half versus three inch exhaust and expensive mufflers versus budget mufflers. This is like an L98 out of a third gen Camaro. It's a small block Chevy, it's 350 cubic inches. That's about all we know about what's inside this thing. It's been sitting around West Tech Performance for so long, everyone has forgotten what camshaft's in it. We do know it's got this 650 Holley on it. It's got an Edelbrock air gap dual plane intake manifold. None of that matters as much as the power it's making, which is about 345, because that dictates how much air it's moving through the exhaust system. Which means what we learn here today as we test two and a half versus three inch exhaust and bucks up mufflers versus cheap mufflers, that is all gonna apply to any engine making about the same power level. So let's roll the thing in the dyno right now. I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of AMS oil to put in this complete mystery engine. Then we're gonna fire it up and show you how much power it makes first with either two and a half or three inch exhaust. I think the only difference we're gonna see is in variance of- Tone? Of air temperature and water temperature and oil temperature. I mean, What about we, variance in tone, exhaust note? It's gonna sound a little bit throatier, of course. It's gonna course. be a lot louder. Yeah, but do you think it's gonna make more power? You know, like I said, in the last 15 years, I don't remember doing this test and anything before that, I don't remember, period. Yeah. So, I, I'm so I just know. presuming that 350 horsepower has plenty of room to get out of a two and a half inch pipe, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's gonna be fired up. Let's just do this. <laughs> to say, so I'm not saying anything. Go ahead. And the answer is? Ready? Boom. Nada. There is no difference. We're talking, that's a quarter of a horsepower if you can even see the line separating. It's, it's the same. Which means we're not surprised, and he was wrong, and we're right. Yeah, <laughs> and we didn't bet. The difference is, is with the two and a half, they know you have a 350 inch motor, and with the three inch, they think you have a 383. <laughs> So you have all the noise and none of the advantages. Absolutely. Yeah. I dented your muffler. Bam. We might have fallen down on the symmetry a little bit, but I think the power is all right. Yeah, close enough. Well, it, Brulé didn't get that clock 90 degrees. Oh I know. Brulé is a hack. I know. Okay, low buck muffler, ready to go. Yeah. I, I say it loses power. How about you? I say it stays the same. Really? I say, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really the correct answer. Yes, none of us know. I know. So that's it right there. Here is our original test with the three inch MagnaFlow muffler that is just straight through. And you compare that to the Thrush at a three inch and it's just making between five and 15 fewer power numbers at every point in both the horsepower curve and the torque curve. That's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah. So it's that example of where you get what you pay for. Yeah, to change to the Thrush means you're saving basically 50 bucks a muffler, so for $100 for a pair of mufflers, that's what you're giving I up. will tell you that that kind of power difference for $100 total is really hard to get. Yeah, that's a pretty good bargain. Yeah, so the, the better muffler is definitely worth it. And here's the other thing that we know, the three inch thrush made less power than the two and a half inch MagnaFlow. Now, if you think about that for a minute, a bunch of two and a half inch piping is way cheaper than three inch steel, so you save some money and it's lighter. Yeah. So if you had the choice right now of running a great muffler on a two and a half inch system versus a budget muffler on a three inch system. I think the answer is the uh, MagnaFlow with the two and a half on this. On this particular power engine, level. that's what you do. We know that on 600 horsepower, you choose the bigger. You get all the power, you save some weight, it's less expensive. 
overall. But there's probably. one consideration neither of you have mentioned, and that's sound. That's a lot quieter than the MagnaFlow straight through muffler. It For is. a lot of guys, I mean, they want that's a quieter sound. That's a big sound. deal, yeah. yeah. This one is much quieter, so that is a distinct benefit for a lot of people of the Hush Thrush, or Thrush Hush. What you're gonna see here is the stuff I chose that I felt was most appropriate to actually fit in a muscle car with a thousand horsepower, but there's other options out there. And of course, a bunch of other brands. But these are gonna be representative, including the Hooker Maximum Flow. This is the cheapest muffler that we've got here. Current pricing at Summit Racing at the time that we shot this video for this deal is $89.75. It's the only unit here that's made in China. The rest of them are made in USA. It is aluminized steel construction, and it does have the straight through perforated core. And I always say that the muffler that makes the most power is the one that you can see through. So that is a see-through hooker maximum flow. Next up, we've got the MagnaFlow muffler. Now this one is $166.51, but it is made in America. It does have stainless steel construction. And once again, it is that see-through core. No surprises there. Next, we're moving on to the Flowmaster. Now this is different than all the other mufflers here because it is a fully aluminized steel welded muffler that is not straight through. It has got some welded in metal baffles in here, one straight across here that has a hole in it. It's got sort of a V-shaped one. This this is the classic race muffler that started it all in the very earliest days of fastest streetcar racing. This one happens to be a Series 30. It also happens to be the largest of the mufflers that we're testing here. At Summit, this Flowmaster is $194.95. Now here's a very serious thing. This muffler, the Flowmaster, can be used as a skid plate. The reason I say this is a real thing is that if your car is really low, all pro streeted out, and you're gonna be dragging it over driveways and speed bumps, legitimately, the construction of the Flowmaster is gonna survive longer than any of the rest of these, so that is a consideration. Lastly, our most expensive muffler in the lineup, the Borla at $218.99. It is all stainless steel construction, once again, straight through perforated design. Now let's talk about size. It's gonna be tough to fit these underneath the car, so this is a consideration. The lowest one, the most squatty this way, is definitely the Borla. Both the Borla and the MagnaFlow are about the same width. The super tanker here is clearly the Flowmaster, and the mid-range one is going to be the Hooker. Now, if you're building a race car, I figure weight is really important to you, and exhaust systems are heavy, so let's go over the weight of each one of these. The lightest muffler is the Borla at 9.08 pounds. Next up, the MagnaFlow is 10.42 pounds. The Hooker Maximum Flow, 11.84 pounds, and the super tanker of a big old Flowmaster muffler is actually 17.34 pounds. Our first muffler was the hooker, now we're going into the MagnaFlow. So the DB on that one was 108 at wide open versus 107, it's one decibel. Now the very last of our straight through mufflers, the Borla. The last set of mufflers we're gonna test here are the Flowmasters, the only ones that you can't see through and the only ones with offset in and out. <music> 103, they're quieter. Results with the hooker mufflers, 874.6 pound-feet of torque and 1,070.2 horsepower. Survey says MagnaFlow mufflers make 875.4 pound-feet of torque and 1,063.6 horsepower, still at 7,000 RPM. Final results with the Borla muffler, 868.7 pound-feet of torque, 1,064.5 horsepower. Our final player is the Flowmaster, which just made 868.6 pound-feet of torque and 1,056.7 horsepower. So the black line here is our quad muffler setup, and the red line is the Flowmaster. It's interesting what it did to the curve. Yeah. Actually, the Flowmaster is way better below 6,000 RPM, and then the quad muffler picks up on top a little bit. I think when the flow demand gets higher, the blockages in the Flowmaster become more of a problem. Yeah. 
Let's take a look at the uh, quad muffler versus our best uh, dual straight through setup. Hooker. Okay. So now we're going to look at quad muffler versus our best muffler, the hooker. So hooker in red, quad muffler in black. Clearly, four mufflers is a greater restriction and does not make as much power, and obviously is heavier and harder to package. But quieter. So, but significantly quieter to my ear. So you really, your decision is, do you want to make more power, or do you want to be a little quieter and carry more weight and have a bigger packaging problem? <laughs>